Okay, evening everyone. Um, this video is just a little bit of uh, explanation of what I did to super detail my uh, Walters um, bulkhead flats. Uh, I said they were Atherin before, but they were Walters. Anyway, I think they were kits. Uh, I bought them all for pretty cheap and uh, just looking at the detail on them, they were leaving a lot to be desired. So this is a kit here and, um, you know, it's got the molded in grab irons and really, really chunky um, stirrups and stuff. But it does have nice wheels and the trucks are good and the couplers are good. But obviously the end detail is pretty lacking. Um, so this is an original one. Last video I was actually painting the decks on these things. I haven't done anything further on that. The underside detail is pretty plain, but then again, I'm not really too bothered about that. So that's an original one. And then I'll just show you what I've done here. So this is the A end. So I'm using different materials to get some detail in there, obviously. So I've got my coupler, cut bars, I've got new stirrups, new grabs. I think I counted up uh, 36 pieces that have been on to, uh, onto both ends of these things, uh, including like each individual grab iron. Um, but yeah, so it's starting to look a bit better. Um, I did chop off the step on this ladder and chop off the step on this ladder just to have that bar go across. So that's the A end. And then we got the B end. So I've got a uh, real chain in there. And I've got, I found these actually in a box. So I had four of those. I did two on each of those. And I got my coupler cut bar. And that's about all the detail on that. And that's painted as you saw last time. And then, well, did another one here. So there's three of them. This is the uh, CP one. Same detail, I guess. Um, but this one actually has a bit more detail on the, uh, the walkway and the chain there. Obviously I've still got to do the uh, weathering on these things. That's just an idea of how they turned out. And then this one was more of a kit bash. So in my backyard, there's a lot of these things that go by that are actually short, short bulkhead flats. So I wanted to do at least one of these. I'll probably end up doing more. Um, what I did for this one, though, was uh, put a couple pieces of tape, one in each end, and then get out the uh, the Dremel and do a rough cut on each end, and then uh, turn them over and sand them flat. And so that's where you get that nice edge right there. And then I capped it with uh, O10 styrene and then put an O10 piece around the perimeter and then built up the uh, bulkhead ends with, um, I just scored a piece of styrene to mimic uh, wood timbers. I still have to paint that as well, but um, that's the detail there. So these ones also have the additional um, coupler cut bars and everything else added onto them. And these have the drop style here instead of the straight outs. I'll just show you quickly, show you the B end Right. Uh, so this one's not painted, so I could show all the detail. Um, so this, I'm not even actually sure if this is prototypical, but this is just a little box I made as a gearbox for the chain, for the brake chain. I don't know how it works, but anyway, that's my imagination there. Chain goes into the box and releases the brake. A uh, couple of cup bars. I'll show you the detail of one of those and how I made all those. So these are obviously store-bought, these drop ones. Um, but these ones here, the stirrups, they're, they're actually drilled right into the body and they're made with staples. Um, and staples are really great because you can really mash on them and they don't go anywhere. And so I'll just show you the materials I used. Obviously just your general staples. And I got this. So this is my super fine mesh. Pratt 20, I think it's meant to be part 20, obviously made in China. This is stainless steel, hard to cut, hard to cut the perimeter, but not so hard. I use scissors to cut this out, and this is what I'm using for my walkways. There's quite a bit here, so I can do quite a few cars detail-wise. Um, and then 
this is the, obviously the chain by the finest chain you can find to do the uh, brake chains. And then this is my, I'll cover up that barcode thing, his phone wants to read it, uh, 0.3 mil by five meter, just brass wire. And this is how I made all of my grab irons and my um, cut bars and everything. So I'll just bring these up to the camera. So that's my couple of cut bar I made and then all the other ones. So obviously the stirrups are a bit thicker being the staples and the 0.3 mil there. Um, these are store-bought. I think they're titchy ones. And this is the original stirrup that was on the Walters kit, so they're pretty chunky. And then there's just a, a walkway that I cut out. So those are just the materials I was using, plus the chain to add these details. If anybody's curious, let me know in the comments and I'll tell you where I got everything. Um, yeah, but I think uh, the outcome's pretty good. And uh, I do like having those a little bit detailed up. So I'm going to do a few more, definitely a few more of the bulkheads. Anyway, if you like this, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate all the recent views and all the recent subscribers. Thanks very much.